about a year ago, Joel and I found this stream while we were out looking for some new water to try. It's no wonder it was a day we weren't filming, because we found more brookies than you could shake a stick at. So while everything close to home was blown out from all the heavy downpours we've been getting, Nate and I made the trip back to see if we could have the same luck, but this time, we'd be filming. Whatever happens, happens. You have them on? Yeah, it was behind the log. I never even saw it. I saw it. <laughs> I saw the splash. Are you trying again? Yeah. You ready? Yeah. Just like that. <laughs> Quick release. <laughs> I had him on. Anyone who's tried filming a fishing video knows, when the cameras come out, nothing goes just quite right. You miss hookups. You miss more fish takes than any other days. Did you see it? Fuck this up my nose. And when you finally hook that good one, Trying to keep pressure on it. Finally, we made it happen. Good fish, too. Caleb and I are working our way up the stream, and we're just picking out these little pockets that are holding fish. This is, this is probably one of the most beautiful streams that I've ever been on. 
Um, it's definitely one of the most challenging though, and that's what makes it fun. It'll definitely make a fisherman out of you, and uh, that's what keeps us coming back for more, is the challenge. We're gonna keep working our way up this stream and see if we can't get a couple more uh, nice fish. Staying back, sneaking around that tree, staying back. Staying back, plopping it in. Slingshot it in. Big fish. Fish, Caleb. Nice fish. Shouldn't say pink fish, but nice for the day. Wow, gorgeous fish. I watched him come right out from underneath the root bank and just crush it. Holy smokes. Wow, look at this fish. And one always does them dirty. Had to, had to make a last minute change. I will trust the San Juan. I don't care what anyone says about the San Juan. You work, baby. That was a good fish. Fish and fuel. After landing that good brownie, we couldn't seem to find any more fish. And then we saw something we've been seeing more and more of lately, fresh boot tracks. So we decided to head back to the car, grab some lunch, and find a new stream. Oh my god! <laughs> I, 
<laughs> That's three fish out of this run. Won't stay on. My gosh. Come on, dude. Oh my gosh. That was wild. Oh my gosh. Four fish out of this run. And this thing is gorgeous. Getting eaten alive by bugs. Not really eating me though. I guess they're just flying in my face, but. Oh my gosh. Caleb, okay, look at this fish. We left the stream we were at before, came to a different stream that we found on the map, and we hiked down into this big bottom. We found the stream down there. There was a lot of brookies and some really nice runs, but we went up and down, and uh, where we walked down over was like the clearest path. If you went up, it was so thick and overgrown. You couldn't even get around the stream, and then we walked down, and it was the same way, so we hiked back up over the mountain, and. We're gonna drive down the road this way, see if we can't find a little bit more open of a spot and uh, hopefully find some more fish. So we're, we're sticking with it today, not giving up. The next spot was all but a bust. We were exhausted, bummed that the first stream hadn't produced as well as it did in the last time, and even more bummed that we were booted out before we could fish the whole stretch. Keep your back cast low. Keep your back cast low. But as blue lining has become more popular in the past year, this is bound to happen. And it just means we have to do a little more exploring and put a few more miles on our boots. But we don't mind. It's all a part of this crazy obsession we have with finding wild trout. And we'll be back. Well, we're done. Catch you guys next time.